Hi guys, I just wanted to go through a few hydraulic questions just to see the sorts of answers you need to be putting in and how you're actually going to work out how to do them. So, figure 14 shows the hydraulic machine that is used to make the ramp tilt. And as with all hydraulic questions, you're going to have two pistons, they're going to have different areas and that enables them to create different forces. Anyway, the pressure applied to the hydraulic liquid at the master piston is the same as the pressure applied by the hydraulic liquid to the slave piston. Okay, that's really important. State the property of the liquid that keeps the pressure at both pistons the same. The answer here is always the same. You need to say that the liquid is virtually incompressible. And what that means is that the liquid cannot be squashed. A 360 newton force acts on the master piston. Use information from figure 14 to calculate the force applied by the hydraulic liquid to the slave piston and use the correct equation. Right, let's have a look at it now. So... If we see this, we can see that we've been given the information here, which is the master piston has a force of 360 newtons being exerted over this tiny area here. We've been given the area on the cross-sectional slave piston, and it's asked us to work out what the force is here. Now, for AQA people, you will get the equation, but for other examples, you won't get the equation for calculating pressure. So remember this formula triangle, which is force is area times pressure. Now what you want to do first of all is work out the pressure acting on this side. So the way you're going to do that is by writing pressure equals force divided by area. We were given the force of 360 newtons divided by the area which is 0 0.0012 meters squared. If you tap that into your calculator you get an answer which is this answer. Oh stop spinning. Three followed by five zeros pascals. And it crucially tells us down here that the pressure applied to the hydraulic liquid at the master piston is the same as that applied at the slave piston. So therefore, we know that this pressure value that we just calculated applies also here. And now it's just a matter of working out what force is based on the fact we have both area and pressure. So force equals, again using the equation triangle above, is, for, is area sorry times pressure Area, given in the question, is 0 0.28. You want to multiply it by the number we just calculated. And that will give you an answer, which is 84,000 newtons. So the next question I found, question 8. Musicians sometimes perform on a moving platform. Figure 13 shows the parts of the lifting machine used to move the platform up and down. So similar layout to the previous question I just showed you. They've given us a cross-sectional area of the piston down at the bottom left-hand corner, and we know that it's full of liquid. So what type of system uses a liquid to transmit a force? And the answer here is a hydraulic system. The pump creates a pressure in the liquid of 8.75 times 10 to the 4 PA to move the platform upwards. Calculate the force that the liquid applies to the piston and use the correct equation from the physics equation sheet. Okay, this question is actually um, more straightforward. I'm not going to write below because otherwise I'll lose the diagram, so I'm going to write up here. So AQA people, I know that you'll get your equation, but for everyone else, I'm going to do it like this. So we've been asked to find the force. So force is area times pressure. The area in the question is 1.76 times 10 to the minus 2, and we're going to multiply it by the pressure, which is 8.75 times 10 to the 4, given in the question. And then when you type all those numbers in, you'll get an answer, which is 1,540. And the units there, obviously, are newtons. Question four. Mountain bike riders use brakes to slow down. Some mountain bikes have hydraulic brakes. Again, this question is really similar to the other ones. It's just the way they draw it makes it look really hard. But you just need to look for the two places where the pressure will be applied, and you can work it out based on that. So we've got the handlebar, and we've been told that the cross-sectional area of the master piston is 5.6 times 10 to the minus 5, and we've been given the cross-sectional area of the slave piston below, which is 14.4 times 10 to the minus 5. What property of a liquid enables a hydraulic brake system to work? Similar answer from the first question I answered is the liquids are virtually incompressible. When the rider's hand pulls on the brake lever, the master piston applies a pressure of 1.5 times 10 to the 6 pascals to the liquid, Use information from the diagram. Calculate the force exerted on the liquid by the master piston. Right, okay, so I'm going to have to write it down here. Equation again. I always do this. 
I'm incapable of just remembering them. So we're looking for force, which is area times pressure. Um, we've been told that the pressure is 1.5 times 10 to the 6th. I'm going to have to scroll back up to have a look at the area, but the crucial thing here is you're looking for the area of the master piston, which was 5.6 times 10 to the minus 5. Okay, pop that into your calculator and you'll get an answer, which is 84. For part C, the pressure in the liquid applies a force to move each slave piston. How does the size of this force compare to the force F applied by the master piston? Give a reason for your answer. So what you want to do here is compare the areas of both the master piston and the slave piston. And as you can see here, the master piston has an area of 5.6 times 10 to the minus 5, whereas the slave piston has a larger area of 14.4 times 10 to the minus 5. And therefore it means that the force experienced by the slave pistons is greater. And the reason for it is literally you just need to say because the slave piston has a larger area. You could be slightly more in-depth and say that the area of the slave piston is greater than the area of the master piston, but regardless, you will get the marks. Right, it's only a short video this. I really hope you found it helpful. Do give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll be back soon with another video. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Bye.